I'm going to make a bow sling out of paracord. So we'll run you through how to do that real quickly. First thing you'll need is 22 inches of three different colors. I'm using red, white, and blue. Next thing you'll do is you'll pull out the inner strands and cut those off. And you're going to pull the ends so you have just the sheath, just the outer part of the paracord. What that's going to do is allow it to melt to a smaller diameter when you fuse it together. And touch them together, that way you don't burn the crap out of your hand. I'm going to take some heat shrink wrap. Cut off a little chunk. Then you're going to find a nice flat surface, preferably metal, and you're going to squish it. So it makes a little nub. Push your heat shrink wrap up to it and then melt that. Okay, now take a vise or some sort of clamping device. I've got my bow vise here. And I'm taking the end of the heat shrink wrap and I'm going to just grab it with my bow vise. Just a way to hold the cord. Now I'm just going to do a simple braid. So for those of you who didn't grow up with sisters, we're going to start with one on the outside, cross it over, take the other one, cross that into the middle and repeat the process. Alright, once you melt that other side together, take another piece of heat shrink to do the same thing you did on the other side. All right, so now we have our completed wrist strap. Now I gotta make the cool looking part. For this part, you'll need about six feet of cord, two different colors. Melt the ends together. We're going to start our secondary braid about three inches from the end of the braided strap. And I'm actually going to add a third color inlay on this braid. So we're going to take the inside strands and pull them all completely out. You won't need these, so throw them away. I've got about 18 inches of paracord here. going to start by flattening the end of our third color. Start by taking our two fused pieces behind the back, crossing one over, going around and through the back side. We then take our third color, we're going to pull a little bit of slack out place that little flat knob back in there and then pull it real tight we then continue with our braid whatever color the short knot side is on you're gonna take the opposite color over the top 
We'll then take our blue piece, fold it back down, and continue the pattern. So we alternate that blue piece going over and then under, and then over and then under. So you'll just simply fold it out of the way for one of the knots, and then fold it back down for the next one. As you go, make sure of two things, that your knots are pulled tight and your blue section remains in the middle. Once we reach the end, it's the same length as the other side, we're going to trim off that blue piece and melt it down so it makes another flat nub. You're then going to pull that cord as hard as you possibly can in both directions to secure it. Flip it over and you're going to trim the ends of both pieces of paracord. Be careful not to trim them too short, otherwise you won't be able to melt them together. Two things I did wrong here. I cut the pieces too short, and I also burned the crap out of my finger. So don't do either of those. Nonetheless, I got them fused together, and it actually came out really nice. And here's the finished product. So we can do it either direction. You can put it out with the three colors showing, or you can put it with the only two colors showing on the back side. Here's my bow sling installed, matching strings. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.